What's up, y'all? This is Box Away. Today I'm going to speak on Janati, Triple G, Golovkin versus Curtis Showtime Stevens. These guys are fighting 160 pounds. Uh, it's going down on November 2nd at Madison Square Garden. So this should be a good fight. Two KO artists, um, two totally different styles, two totally different ways of boxing here. I mean, you got Janati Golovkin. Who is the boxer puncher? He's a good jab jabber. Um, he cuts off the ring very, very well. Got good foot movement and a very smart, intelligent boxer. He sets up his punches, even though he is right now the most feared man in boxing because of his knockout power. He just—he's not a brawler. He's a boxer. Whereas Curtis Stevens. Um, I wouldn't necessarily call him a brawler, like he does have some boxing ability, but his thing is to try to go in there in the, in the inside and knock you out as early as possible. Curtis Stevens, um, usually most of his fights, his wins end in, in a knockout, an early knockout, maybe like the first five rounds or so. And um, he's his build, he's he's very short, he's like 5'7", but he's stocky, like he looks like you know he has like that that Tyson built. You know he has short arms. He's 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 really muscular, but he's very short. So he has to get on the inside to be able to connect with whoever he's fighting. So, um, like I said, you know I uh, I expect Golovkin to use his jab, um, use his body punches, use his length and his height as an advantage. But the thing is, Golovkin is not a guy that's going to just dance around the whole ring like Andre Durrell when he fought, fought Curtis Stevens. Andre Durrell pretty much dominated Curtis Stevens because he stayed on the outside because he's he's so defensive minded. He's tall. He's even taller than uh, Golovkin and he, used, he has a jab as well, but he danced around the ring. And uh, Curtis Stevens, that's the thing about him. He's... He, he hasn't he hasn't been able to show that he's able to cut off the ring against whoever he's fighting. So if he can't get on the inside and knock you out with one of his hooks, he has a mean left hook. If he's not able to get on the inside, he's pretty much done. You know, he doesn't have the best uh, you know cardio. His stamina goes down pretty much after a few rounds. You know, so. He just throws power punches, you know. He does have a jab, but his jab is going to be useless against anyone that's tall and, um, you know, that's anyone that's somewhat of a slick boxer. If you see his fight with Derek Finley, you see that he wasn't able to knock Derek Finley out. But at the same time, like, he outboxed Derek Finley because Derek Finley has a similar built like him you know he's stocky he's not tall and he has to stay on the inside as well so it was like two of the type, same type of guys fighting but the only thing is uh curtis stevens was the superior boxer he used his jab because this guy don't have a long arm length so it was pretty much easy for him to outbox uh Derek finley and everybody he's fought, everybody else he fought recently he pretty much knocked them out but he fought when he fought like a guy like jesse brinkley um Jesse Brinkley took all of his power punches. You know, he wasn't able to knock Jesse Brinkley out. So Brinkley pretty much outboxed him and outclassed him the whole fight and even knocked him down. So Curtis Stevens is not great against boxer punchers, guys that's going to stay on the outside and use their length, and guys that can take his punches. So he's not really that great against those type of guys. Now, we never see Golovkin really get rocked by somebody. We see him get, uh, you know, he got he got hit often by uh, Gabriel Rosado. But Gabriel Rosado is naturally a 154 power, uh, pounder. He doesn't have a lot of power. So even though he, he hit Golovkin often, he wasn't able to really hurt Golovkin. So um, this is the way I see this fight going. I see Golovkin... Uh, pressuring him early like he normally does but he's going to be cautious at the same time because curtis stevens can actually knock him out at any given time with one punch he's capable of doing that with almost anyone so i think lufkin is going to play it play it smart but at the same time he's still going to pressure him um he's going to be uh he's going to outpoint him and dominate the fight i think lufkin is going to easily dominate this fight i think he's going to have uh uh, Curtis Stevens hurt 
and backed against the ropes most of the fight, landed body shots and uh, you know landed his jabs. And it's going to be a pretty easy fight, especially because of the fact that uh, Curtis Stevens, this is the first time someone has really talked a lot of trash before the fight against Golovkin, the most feared guy in boxing. Curtis Stevens thinks he's overrated. And Curtis Stevens thinks he, he hasn't fought anyone, which you can argue, you know, you can argue that. I think Matthew Macklin, Gabriel Rosado is pretty good boxers, They but um, he hasn't fought the bigger named uh, middleweight guys. And that's not... That's not Golovkin's fault. Golovkin is willing to fight everyone. He's he's called out pretty much ev everyone. I think he even called out Andre Ward. But uh, nobody wants to fight this guy. And not only that, you got Sergio Martinez, who's the current champ, who is injured right now. He's been injured since last year. You know, you got Peter Quillen that he could fight. And Peter Quillen will probably fight Golovkin as well. But Peter Quillen is a Showtime fighter. You know how HBO and Showtime is. You know, these guys are not letting these guys fight each other. So, pretty much, I see Golovkin winning by stoppage. Uh, Curtis Stevens is a tough guy. I don't see him getting knocked out cold. But at the same time, I see the ref stopping the fight. Curtis Stevens is going to run out of gas. He's going to be against the ropes. He's going to get hit with a collage of, a collage of punches. And I, I really don't see him winning this fight unless... Glovkin gets a little comfortable and allows Curtis Stevens to get inside, which I don't see him doing because up to this point, I haven't seen Golovkin make any major, major uh, mistakes. So that's the way I see the fight. Uh, uh, Golovkin by either TKO or decision. I don't see uh, Stevens winning this by any chance. And um, it will be a huge, major, major upset if Curtis Stevens were to win this fight right here. So... Uh, leave comments, follow me on Twitter at wavy underscore 10 and subscribe to the channel and subscribe to USA MVP, subscribe to his channel as well. Thank you.